The revolution of high-tech indoor farming is taking shape right here in the Alamo City. And this morning we are giving you a sneak peek at a brand new indoor elevated farm located at Brooks. They cultivate about 140,000 square feet of leafy green product. Yeah, this is impressive right here. Patty Santos got a tour and takes a look at the pros and cons of this type of farming. He was doing everything by hand, manually. Uh, technology for him was a pickaxe. Sully Farm CEO Matthew Ryan talks about how far along farming has come since his grandparents' time. We are in the world's largest indoor organic farm right here in San Antonio in the Brook City Base. The 140,000 square foot soil-based vertical farm is the newest investment for the national company. This is where Ryan says the company was able to perfect its technique to make organic green farming cost-effective, profitable, and attainable to customers. Water is in short supply. We use 90% less water than growing in the field, and we can grow on one acre right here in this building what typically takes 100 acres of prime farmland to grow on. It starts here with the soil. The turning machines drop in the seeds. After it's watered, it's placed in a dark, moist room to germinate for a few days. Once the babies sprout, they spend their time in the nursery. They're electronically watered and get plenty of vertical farming light. Next, these machines help spread them as they head to the grow room. This is in a controlled climate with a slight breeze, a perfect California-style temperature. Here, they will reach their full potential. This has taken us years and years and tons of investment to get here. You're talking about growing locally. Does that mean it's going to be maybe eventually become um, more affordable to buy some of the good food that we need to, in our body? For, from an organic perspective, yes, we are growing organically, so it will be less costly than organic that's grown in the field. Lettuce, spinach, cilantro, chives go from seed to shipping in about 17 days. What are the setbacks of doing something like this? We, like anybody else dependent upon electricity, is dependent upon the grid becoming greener. The farm employs about 100 people to care for the plants 24-7. While it's high tech, it's still growing in soil the way that nature always intended. We are just doing it in a controlled fashion. Okay, so and cool. he says the benefit of having farms like this is that you can get a good salad year round. Remember, it used to be like you only got certain Seasonal, foods, season yeah. of foods. Mm -hmm. This uh, right now, they're only doing leafy greens, but you know, they're always exploring at mm. other possibilities. So it's kind of yeah. cool. That is cool. It's very cool. I'll yeah, it looked delicious too. Yeah, and uh, all the growth out there at Brooks, I know that that's a big part of this initiative and urban farming, anything to help out when it comes to health. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. <laughs> Thank you very much for that story, Patty pretty cool tour out there.